Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I have a uh -huh. very Hello, good day. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello, okay. good evening, Daniel. How are you doing? Where, You're driving? Where are you? Driving a motorcycle. Yes, I'm driving, car. but only around the two or two kilometers to arrive to my house. Oh, okay. Oh, well, drive safe. Okay, man. All right. Uh, thank you so much for being here, for being on time. Um, the previous class on Friday, we were um, discussing uh, the different ways to um, to express future, right? So I'm sharing the presentation with you and I sent it to the WhatsApp group because okay. yes, um, as I told you, I included a, a summary as we were uh, discussing that we can express future um, depending on the, the the context, we can do it with will, with be going to, and also with present continuous. Let's remember that we're going to use will for predictions when we think that something is going to happen. Um, for instant decisions taken while speaking, promise and refusals, offers, suggestions, and requests. Here we have some examples how we can use predictions with will. For example, he will be a good doctor. Uh, that's, that's because we think that's going to happen. I believe they will win this match. That's just predictions, maybe with no uh, any evidence that it's going to happen. For instance, decisions that we mentioned in the last class, uh, spontaneous decisions that we take at the moment that we're, um, for example, it says a short conversation where A says, we don't have any sugar. So someone offered, I'll buy some then. Okay, so that was an spontaneous decision. Um, also for promising and refusal, for example, I will help you, but I won't lend you any money. Okay, we promise to help, but we refuse to provide or to lend money. For offers, I'll carry your bag. Shall I carry your bag? Suggestion. Shall we eat out today? And request. Will you open the door, please? So in this case, uh, we're using well, as you can see here in the, the first one, predictions when we think something has happened. Um, we can do it also with be going to, but there is a, a difference. We can make predictions using be going to when we see any present evidence, okay? So we have a couple of examples. Slow down, we're going to have an accident. What is the evidence? The person is spinning up, so it's more likely we're going to crash. Decisions mm -hmm. taken before, mm -hmm. such as uh, intentions or plans. Um, are you going to watch the game tonight? That can be... Um, a previous decision, just talking about plans for plan actions. Now, remember that the present continuous is to plans and arrangements that have been made. Um, and we use the time expression when we need to um, clarify that this is a future plan, not an action that is going on right now. So, for example, I'm flying to New York tomorrow morning. So you see, it's a plan for tomorrow. It's not happening right now. I'm seeing the dentist at six. We are getting married next week. So that is the difference. If you're going to use the present continuous to express future, you need to include a time expression at the end of your sentence. 
And also remember that uh, is for um, uh, future plans, but in the near future, not too away from now. Um, questions? No questions? Um, okay. Let's remember the structure for the present continuous. Alejandra, tell me. Because I want to know that is um, right saying I'm going to fly to New York or o sea, o tengo, o tengo que, o sea, para el presente continuo, tengo que decir I'm, I'm flying to O sea, ¿por, ¿por qué no debería ser correcto de la otra manera? La primera que dijo es con going to, no es con present continuous. Si lo hace con going to, no necesita especificar um, um, con una expresión de tiempo, pero con presente continuo sí necesitamos hacerlo por cuestión de gramática. Porque acuérdense que el presente continuo es mayormente utilizado para acciones que están sucediendo ahorita, en el momento. Entonces, si usted dice, I am, I am flying to New York, pero yo la veo en clase, no está volando para Nueva York. Pero si ya usted dice, tomorrow, I am flying to New York tomorrow, ya entonces ya comprendimos que es un plan a futuro, ¿verdad? Para mañana. Pero so si usted dice, I am flying, es el presente continuo, I am, si ustedes ven la estructura, por eso se las puse ahí, porque como que confunde uh -huh. un poco, eh, eh, hay que tener bien en mente la estructura de I sería el sujeto am el verbo to be el verbo con ing flying I am flying to New York pero usted me ve aquí dando la clase yo no estoy volando ok entonces pero si usted usa going to es otra estructura es I am y el, en la frase going to y luego el Verbo, I am going to fly. Ahí no lleva ING. I am going to fly to New York. Para esa no es necesario um, una time expression. Ok, yes. gracias. Es que a veces eso de los tiempos me confunde un poco. Sí, pero ajá, por eso yo comprendo. Porque sí, vi, vi que muchos tenían ese problema porque como que no, no, no están claras las estructuras, cómo las van a utilizar o cómo van formándose. Entonces, por eso ahorita vamos a practicar la estructura del presente continuo y luego vamos a practicar going to para, um, para reforzar las estructuras, porque sí veo que eso tiene como hacer un poquito de problema y me di cuenta cuando estaban haciendo los ejercicios de, de este tema, pero es completely normal. Lo que vamos a hacer es practicarlo. Eduardo. Okay. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, el gonna. Eh... Eh, Ajá, continúe, ¿Sí? perdón. Es que no sé bien cómo se pronuncia, pero Gana. creo que es así. Ajá. Ajá. Es, es igual de que el presente continuo. No, eso no es presente continuo. Gonna es lo mismo going to, nada más que es la forma contractada. Digamos, al momento de hablar, nosotros acostumbramos, I'm going to, y yo tengo la costumbre, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to. <ríe> so, pero ajá, sí, para hablar y para decirlo más rápido es gonna. I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna send you the presentation. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. You're gonna finish the model tomorrow. <ríe> The yes, es going to. En forma corta, gonna. Esa es la pronunciación. Uh -huh. Y también se escribe diferente. Hola. With double N. With double N, ajá. Uh -huh. G-O-N-N-A. Gonna. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good question, Eduardo. Any other? No, teacher. All right. Okay, so remember the present continues uh, to reinforce. Um, so... Uh, the, the formula, how we form it uh, for affirmative statements, remember, do always we need the subject, a form of the verb be, meaning am, is, or are, depending on the subject, plus the main verb with ing, 
plus complement and also we're going to add a time expression. Esta es la, la fórmula del presente continuo, pero si lo vamos a estar usando para futuro, acuérdense que debe de llevar una expresión de tiempo. Mañana, esta noche, el próximo mes, la próxima semana, eh, más tarde ahora, etc. La fórmula es sujeto, luego una forma del verbo to be, am, is, o are, Luego el verbo principal con ING y el complemento. Si es negativa la oración es básicamente lo mismo, solo que vamos a agregar not para hacerla negativa. Entonces tenemos que escribir sujeto, eh, una forma del verbo be, plus not, verbo principal con ING y el complement. Um, For example, uh, ah, and the question, para las yes no questions se empieza con el verbo be, am, is, or are. En este caso are, porque el sujeto que sigue es you. Que luego va a continuación. So, am, is, are, plus the subject, luego el verbo principal con ing y el complemento. Al final, el signo de pregunta. Esto es present continuous y acuérdense que si lo estamos usando para futuro, agregar la expresión del tiempo siempre al final, ya sea que estemos haciendo una oración afirmativa, negativa o pregunta, la expresión de tiempo va a ir siempre al final. Y para practicar un poquito, tenemos este enlace, como les dije que íbamos a estar uh, practicando con enlaces interactivos, está este enlace. Eh, lo pueden hacer en, en grupo. Alguien puede compartir pantalla o lo pueden hacer. Acuérdense que si tienen problemas para compartir, lo pueden hacer individualmente y de estar diciendo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, ¿cuál creen que es la 1? Ah, yo creo que es esta. Uy, me salió bien, me salió mal. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué le pusiste? ¿Por qué salió mal? Y etcétera. ¿Verdad? Estar como la idea es que ustedes mismos se retroalimenten eh, lo que estamos viendo. Entonces se van a meter a este enlace en, en grupos y luego pues empiezan a solventar los ejercicios. Esto es acerca del presente continuo para planes y futuro. Entonces este enlace está en la presentación que les envié antes de la clase, como les comenté que la iba a modificar para, para que hiciéramos este repaso. Eh, pero la voy a sacar también para pegárselas en el chat que eso a veces es más fácil, a veces cuesta un poquito sacarla de acá. Entonces se la voy a pegar aquí en el chat de la meeting. Ok, there you go. And let's uh, give you some minutes for you to um, complete this and break up rooms a little bit. So, Hacerlo un poquito grande porque más de alguien pueda compartir que haya um, bajado la presentación. Y ahí les copié el enlace en, en el chat de la meeting para que pues lo tenga más a la mano. Ok. Ok.
How was the exercise? Did you finish the exercise? No, teacher, no faltaron una. No, faltaron alguna. Oh, like how many? Uh -huh. Okay, and uh, who checked all of them? No lograron chequearlas? No. No. Oh my God. All right. Okay, I'm going to open up the rooms again. Voy a abrir el room otra vez para, eh, como cuántas les faltaron para calcularles el tiempo y no sacarlos antes. Como unas tres o cuatro al grupo Ajá, de nosotros. Three or four. Okay, I'll give you. Más. Okay, sure. And let's rejoin. Buenas todas, pero no sé. Sí, ahí. Oh. Ah, oh, esta está mala. So, uh, your cousin. Ajá, porque está singular. Es tu primo o tu prima, vea. Ya sea él o ella, sería singular. Is your cousin. Uh -huh. Y en la ocho creo que es al revés. Tendría que ser R. Porque está en... Segunda persona, creo. Pero en la 8 dice no, he. He. He's not Ajá. living. Tendría que ser. He are, sería no. You're not living, creo. Es que are es cuando son dos personas. He's not living. Ah. Mm. Until next week, in fact, we are. Um, we are going to the cinema. All right, so scroll down. Hmm. No le da la opción de ver la, la correcta. No, he. Uh, Complete night of ten. Ok, solo le da la nota, ¿verdad? No les pone la correcta. Oh. Y me parece que había una que decía review my answers. Uh -huh. Tiene que haber algo por ahí. Uh. Solo que tal vez esté más abajo. Uh -huh. No, arriba, no, no es de arriba. En las letritas azules. Link to our chicken. No, 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 no. Sure. Mm -hmm. And that's weird. Bueno. En esa sí, uh -huh, debería de aparecer. Por algún motivo no está. Pero sí, la primera es porque, ajá, uh -huh, era is. Is your cousin. Mm -hmm. No. Y abajo. No. Ajá, eso es lo que no, he's not living. Debería de estar bien, bro. Eh, debería de estar bien a 8. Ajá. Es weird. Sea, pero la nota fue 9 de 10. No sé 9 si. de 10, ajá. A ver, ¿y cuántas eran 10 entonces? Sí, solo eran 10. Ah, bueno, está correcta entonces. Pero, pero pasa, la primera, solo, solo la, la primera. De rosado. Ajá, la primera sí, definitivamente era is, porque ya saben, es. Um, él o ella, ¿verdad? Y la 8 está bien y se la ha tomado bien, pero por alguna razón salió rosadito. Pero <risa> uh -huh. yes, very good.
Hello everyone, can you hear me? Someone, can you hear me? Hola, hola. Hi everyone, how are you? Hey, Hello. how are you? I'm well, I just arrived to my house. I do my um, meeting in right, but I hear. Good. All right. Um, I was in a group and they uh, check all the answers and did very, very nice job. Just little details. Algunos detallitos que de repente se escapan, pero ya con la práctica, pues, los reforzamos. Los demás, ¿cómo les fue? Bien. Bien. ¿Todas correctas o tienen pregunta con algún aire? Porque en el que estuve, estuvo todo bien. Solo una estaba bien, pero el color... Eh, Le dio rojito, rosadito, pero estaba correcta. Rosado. Pues. Rosado. Ajá. Ajá, ok. Rojo pálido. Ok, and the rest of you, everything good. ¿Todos días? ¿Todos días? ¿No hay preguntas? Everything good. Ok, good. Now, let's continue with the um, review. Well, uh, and uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this exercise. I like it because it's like interactive and it gives you the, your grade. Now, with be going to the structures, it's kind of different. La estructura con el be going to es, es diferente. Recuerden que siempre lleva sujeto y una forma del verbo to be, dependiendo del sujeto. Am, um, is, are. Luego hay que agregar going to. Y luego el verbo en infinitivo. Quiere decir que no le vamos a poner ing, no le vamos a poner eds, nada. El verbo así, tal cual. Y luego el complemento. Con el going to no necesitamos especificar tiempo, cuándo. Eh, Daniel. Sí, I have a question. En el complemento siempre lleva el to antes del... Eh, Digamos, el complemento que va a dar siempre lleva la palabra tú. No. So, después de going to, sí. Pero acá, como, oh, all right, aquí la estructura es eh, sujeto, luego el, el, el be, luego going to, luego el verbo en infinitivo. Pero aquí este tú es hacia dónde. Hacia dónde. Ok. Pero okay. yo podría decir, um, voy a, um, voy a reunirme con con mi familia el próximo sábado, I am, aquí el suito sería I, verbo be, am, going to, luego reunirme, gather, y mi complemento sería with my family, with my family, ahí ya no, so, si es que voy a viajar hacia eh, a algún lugar o me voy a dirigir, por ejemplo, a la, um, al cinema, Por ejemplo, si yo digo, yo voy a ir al cinema, entonces ahí sí también llevaría tú el complemento. Y ese tú me está indicando la dirección o el lugar a donde yo voy a ir. Por eso hay un tú ahí, pero no siempre va en el complemento. Solo en caso que sea que voy dirigiéndome, voy a desplazarme a un lugar. Ahí sí. Ok. Muchísimas gracias, teacher. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay. ok, y aquí es donde vamos a estar combinando eh, Complete the invitations in column A With the present continuous as future 
and then complete the responses in column B with going to. So in this part, en la parte A, vamos a usar presente continuo. En la parte A, presente continuo. Y en la parte B, vamos a completar con la estructura del be going to. Ok. Ok. So, let me um, stop sharing um, para que lo puedan hacer en... Um, creo que lo pueden hacer ahí en su cuadernito o en su material y luego chequeamos para no hacer rooms otra vez. Ok.
I finished, teacher. Okay, has everybody finished? I finished. Oh. No? Okay. Not yet. Just... Okay. Just a minute. Teacher, I have a, only a question in the letter B. Mm -hmm. En la que se refiere a de literal A de la columna B, cuando dice I am B, ese es I am. Perdón, no le comprendí. Es que I'm hay, going to hay be. Dos. Ajá, ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, es I going to be. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. El verbo no se, no se, um, después del to, el verbo va en infinitivo, no se conjuga. I'm going to be. Ok, ese sí tenía dudas. Muchas gracias. Excelente. Ok, so, um, volunteer for number one in part A. Me, teacher. Ok, thank you. Uh, what are you doing tonight? Will you like to go out? What Excellent. Uh -huh. What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go? Vicente? The number two or, or the answer? Uh, yes, the number two, the question. Okay. Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want that, to see uh, a movie? Uh -huh, that is correct. Are you doing anything on Friday night? Excellent. Thank you so much. A volunteer for number three. Me, teacher. Okay, Rafael and Maria number four. Sería. Well, are having having bring over over for a barbecue on Saturday. Would you endure the parent life to come? Excellent. We are having friends over. Good. Thank you so much. Excellent, Rafael. Maria, please, number four. Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? Excellent, excellent, Maria. Thank you so much, Daniel. Number well, letter A in part B. Okay, this is for my my question. Is I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. Yes, that is correct. Excellent. Um, letter B, volunteer. Letter B. Vicente, thank you. Well, my father going to visit my brother at college, but my brother and I going to be home. We love to come. Okay, I heard something missing there. Escuché como que faltaba um, algo. Um, Second part or? But one? my mother and I? Going to be. Going to be. Pero antes del going to, ¿qué oh. necesitamos? Are. I'm going. I'm are. going to be. Are. Uh-huh. Because it's are. plural. Uh-huh. Are going to be home. My mother and I. Se convierte en oh, nosotros. Oh. My mother oh, and oh, I. Oh. Mm -hmm. are going to be home. Very good. Thank you so much. Letter C. Uh, 
A letter C. Me teacher. Mm -hmm. so, sorry, I can't. I am go I am going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? That is correct. Muy bien. Thank you so much, Francisco. And the last one for D, letter D. Can we go to late show? I, you study, study? You? Uh, oh. Is, are, are you study? I am. I am style. I go to the I the office at seven o'clock. I am going to going to stay. Mm -hmm. I am going to stay at the office till seven. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for your participation. Now we're going to check attendance before we continue. Is there any question? Yes, sir. Uh, at the end of the letter D, um, when you say till is until. Uh, yes. Maybe it's mm -hmm. a yes, it's a short okay. form of until. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. until. it's the same. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's check our attendance for today. And yes, you're just one class to finish. Tomorrow's going to be the last one for this module. Okay. Adam Marilu. Present teacher. Thank you. Alejandra Beatriz. Here. Ana Ivania. Thank you. Ana Silvia de Flores. Ana Silvia de Flores. Ana Silvia de Funes. Mm, tampoco está Ana Silvia de Funes. Okay. Um, Ana Yancy. Present. Thank you. Uh, Cristina del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Daniel Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Dina Esmeralda. Present. Thank you. Eduardo Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Susana. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Daniel. Present. Thank you. Iris Concepción. Present teacher. Thank you. María del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Patricia and Maris. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Hilda. Present. Thank you. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Sandra Noemi. Sandra Noemi. Vicente Israel. Here, teacher. Thank you. Y Jessica Rosibel. Jessica. Okay, Jessica no se conectó tampoco. Okay. Ah, Teacher, right. I have a question. Uh -huh. How do you say la penúltimo, el penúltimo o la penúltima? Uh, the penúltimo. Yes, how do you say that? I don't recall. <laughs> Yeah, just say the previous one, <laughs> previous to the <laughs> last one. Uh -huh. Maybe, maybe previous. Uh -huh. last... The previous, previous to the last one. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, this is the previous to the last class. Yes. 
Yes. This is the... Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh, okay. All right, uh, we have some vocabulary about leisure activities. Leisure activities, do you know what leisure mean? Uh, no, I forgot that word. No. Uh, no. Leisure means, um, es como uh, the ocio or the free time, es similar. Uh -huh. Like a hobby too. Mm, uh -huh. No. Mm, mm, not exactly, porque también existe la palabra, uh, bueno, la leisure, en este caso, leisure activity, son como actividades de ocio. Eh, también podemos decir clothes for leisure. Clothes, ropa. Mm -hmm. So, clothes for leisure are different from, uh, from work, right? You use a different type of clothes for work and different types of clothes for leisure. Uh -huh. la, la ropa del tiempo libre, de tiempo de ocio, es eso, ajá, es diferente. So, so for example, what kind of clothes do you wear in your um, leisure time? For example, no, short and shorts, t-shirt. Sandals. Sandals, ajá, uh -huh. flip-flops. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, uh -huh. so that means like tiempo de ocio, like free time. In this free case, time. free time activities or free time clothes or leisure, it means similar to uh, free time or tiempo de ocio. Um, so in these activities, so we have a barbecue, baseball game, a beach party, a bicycle race, birthday party, dance performance, picnic, play, rock concert, singing contest, tennis match, and the volleyball tournament. Is any new word here of, of vocabulary? Um, no. No? No. That, that works, okay. Okay, so we have to um, classify them into spectator sports, friendly gatherings, and live performances. So, uh, for example, barbecue. In which of these categories you, would you write barbecue? It's My not a spectator sport. Live performance. Friendly, friendly, friendly gathering. Friendly gathering. Uh -huh. Friendly grand. gathering. Friendly gathering. Yes. Sure. Gathering. Friendly gathering. Uh -huh. Gatherings. What sense. means gatherings? Gatherings. Gathering is a reuniones. Uh -huh. okay. O agrupamiento, a juntarse con alguien, a juntarse. Juntarse, <laughs> reunirse. <laughs> Dios mío. Uh -huh. yes. That is correct. <laughs> Cree, ya lo voy a buscar. Ay, no, qué vergüenza. Uh -huh. So, for example, you can say, I'm going to gather with my family. Gather is to get together. Juntarse o, o reunirse con alguien. Gather, reuniones. Um, en este caso es como, ahí dice friendly gathering, so no es algo de, um, no es algo formal, no es algo de trabajo, esos son meetings, meetings, but these ones are gathering. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Igual, por ejemplo, you can say, um, I need to gather uh, information for the report. Mm -hmm. I need to gather Es como poner junta la, la información, ¿verdad? I need to gather information for my final exam, for my final report, etc. Mm -hmm. So, that, yes, you can use that word um, in different contexts. So, nice that you're learning new vocabulary. Here is the trans translator. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Ajuntamientos, Daniel. <laughs> we can I we can I use that uh, flagger gathering like an an after office. An after office, after yes, office. could be a friendly gathering. Uh huh. Taking coffee. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, coffee. A good coffee, Vicente. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Excellent>. <laughs> okay, uh, so <laughs> yes, so barbecue, friendly gathering. Barbecue now, friendly gathering. Um, gathering. baseball game, spectator sport, spectator sport, spectator sport, a beach party. Friendly gathering, friendly gathering. Friendly gathering. Uh huh. A uh, bicycle race. Spectator sport. Spectator sport. A uh, birthday party. Friendly gathering. Friendly gathering. Friendly gathering. Uh huh. Dance performance. Live 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 performance. A picnic. Friendly, Friendly gathering. gathering. Friendly, Friendly gathering. Friendly gathering. Play. Live performance. Live performance. Uh -huh. Live performance. Un, una play, un play es como una puesta en escena de alguna obra puede ser. Ajá. Uh -huh. That is a play. Uh, rock concert. Live performance. Live performance. Live performance. Live performance. Rock concert. Live performance. Yeah. A singing contest. Um, singing contest. Uh, live, live performance. performance. Live, 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 live performance. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Okay, uh huh. So, yeah, singing mm -hmm. contest is in live performance. Uh, tennis mm -hmm. match? It's for mm -hmm. spectator sport. Spectator sport. Spectator sport. Uh huh. And the last one, volleyball tournament? Spectator sport. Spectator sport. Uh -huh. Yes, it is here. Yes. Spectator Sport a Volleyball Tournament. Okay, very good. Um, let's see, what do we have next? Now that we have classified them into uh, the categories, we have, um, well, this is an exercise about accepting or refusing um, an invitation in which you should uh, select one of the activities that we have already mentioned and uh, make like a, a sort of role play. So for example, uh, it says, say, are you doing anything on Saturday, for example? Uh, would you like to come to my house? We are having a barbecue. So you say, if you say, oh, oh sorry. Okay, <laughs> sorry, uh, I can't. I have a family gathering at home that day. But what about and Monday? <laughs> yes, so uh -huh, you have to um, uh, make the invitations and you so to one Thank of you. your partners and someone else is going to uh, maybe accept in this case. It says like an example. Okay, that sounds fun. Where is it? Or refuse. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I am doing this and this and that. Okay. So um we can do a couple of them. Todavía tenemos un par de minutitos. Podemos hacer un par de esas. So for example, I can say um uh let's select someone. Um oh Maria, uh would you like to come and see a bicycle race on Sunday? I'm sorry, but I can't I I have to work. Oh, you're going to work? 
Oh, yes. okay. Maybe yes. some other time. <laughs> okay. Now, um, volunteer <laughs> to make an invitation. Another volunteer. Vicente. Okay. Select someone and make your invitation. Okay. Uh, for for you, teacher. Mm -hmm. For you. Yes. Can we can we go to a uh, uh, take coffee and study English? Ah, oh, sounds like a good plan. On Friday. When? Friday. On Friday. Um, On Friday. I think that maybe this Friday now because the traffic is gonna go crazy, but maybe in the next one. <laughs> Next one, okay. Thank you. Okay. Vicente or, or, or Saturday, maybe. Or Saturday. Sunday. Oh, my God, no. Saturday is the Christmas. <laughs> Pan es con pollo. <laughs> Et cetera. Of course. Yes. Yeah, so. Of course. Oh, Thank my you, God. Yes. All right. And uh, time is going, like, too fast. So, but... Fast, um. Yeah. Tomorrow we will continue and yes, tomorrow we're going to finish this unit. But uh, I would like to know if you have, um, if you want more exercise on this topic, of course we can do them, uh, provide more examples since we are about to finish. It's just a, a conversation y, uh, to take messages. Um, eso, esto creo que también fue un poquito confuso porque lo vi peleando un poquito con los ejercicios de la plataforma, pero sí, mañana vamos a ver esto, hacer más ejercicios y recuerden, sería la última clase. So try to be on time. Eh, siempre okay. abrimos la meeting un poquito antes a ver si pues esos minutitos pueden ayudar. Ok. Ayuda mucho. All right. Okay. So thank you so much for joining and see you tomorrow. Okay, yeah, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night.